Today we'll create this logo by using Adobe Photoshop CC. And how to apply mockup to your logo and get this 3D realistic view. So let's get started. From the toolbar, select this text tool and here write the logo title or the company name. Now drag the text and make the size bigger and place it here. Let's delete this G because we'll make a custom font for the G. And by taking this ellipse tool and using shift key, let's make a circle like this. And here, instead of fill color, we'll just give the stroke color and increase the size of the stroke and match up with the text size little bit. Now place this circle at the center. Let's take it towards the left hand side and place it here. Now drag this layer and make a duplicate and drag this new layer and make the size bigger. Now let's take the text tool again and here write the text again. So this text will be the tagline. Drag it down and make the size smaller and place it here. So we'll change the font for the tagline. So from here uh, we'll choose a nice font. And let's give more space in between the alphabets. And place it here. So here we need to increase the gap between the uh, tagline text because it can match up to the end line of the logo title. Now select both and drag it. Let's take it towards the uh, right hand side by using arrow key, right arrow key on your keyboard. Now it looks fine. Let's take this pen tool and here we'll create this custom alphabet for the G. We can control the curve direction by using Alt key. So every time when you want to change the direction of the curve like this way, you need to press Alt key and drag it. While doing the alphabet G, you must have to keep in mind the width of the alphabet should match up with the other text of the title. Fill this with color. Now drag this little bit down and make the size smaller. Drag it like this. And now by taking a corner point tool, select the one of the anchor point on the curve and by using down arrow key, take it little bit down and fix the width and here we'll draw a leaf by using pen tool. Fill this with color. Now drag it by using Alt can make a duplicate and rotate it. Drag it down and make the size smaller and take it here. Now select them and do right click over the layers and rasterize it. After rasterizing, select this and do quick selection. Go to select, modify and expand. Here give some expand value because we need to create a gap. Now select the down circle, this one and press delete key. Now press Ctrl D and remove the selection. 
Similarly, repeat the same process, do quick selection, go to select, modify, expand and give the same expand value. OK, select this down circle, this one, press delete key, control D and remove the selection. So here by using pen tool here also we need to make gap. So according to the gap, uh, we are making a shape. from here to here and fill this with color. Now do right click and rasterize this new shape. Do quick selection. Select this uh, down object, press delete key, control D, remove this. Similarly, using pen tool, here we need to make another gap. So make the shape accordingly. Fill this with color. Rasterize it. Do quick selection. Select this, press delete key and delete it. Here, let's fill the gap. So we are making a shape uh, so that we can uh, fill up this gap. Fill this with color. Now select this one and this one, do right click and combine layers. Now select this one, take color picker tool and here choose the right color and click over this. Similarly, change the color for other elements as well. Change the color and fill this. Now unmark this background, select the whole logo and do right click and merge it. Make one single layer. Now open the mockup. If you don't have mockup, then check out description. Now double click at the top layer of the mockup. Now drag our transparent logo over the new mockup page and leave it here. Drag it and make the size bigger. Mark it, unmark the background. Close the tab, yes and wait for the mockup to be applied. So here is the final result. I hope you understand how to apply mockup and how to create logo in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, if you like this tutorial, then you can do support Graphic Island by doing like, share and subscribe. Thank you.